It's time once again for Bible and Praise Time. I am Miss Jane. I am Elsie, and I say a big hello to all of you in Radio Land. Children, in the book of John, verse 1, it is telling us that Jesus is God. There are so many ways about God that sometimes children never hear or learn about. So I want to tell you about three big words so you will know more about our God. The first word is omnipotent. Omnipotent. That means God is powerful and that there is nothing he cannot do. The second big word is omnipresent. Omnipresent. And it means God is everywhere all the time. The last word is omniscient. And it means God has all wisdom. Omnipotent. He knows everything. Now I want you to repeat these three words after me. Say omnipotent. Say that. Omnipotent. Okay. Now say omnipresent. Say omnipresent. And now say omniscient. There. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? In our story today, Jesus turned water into wine. He was able to do mighty miracles. And our song says, He is able. story is from John 2, 1 to 11. In Cana, a little town of Galilee, lived some friends of Jesus and his mother. One day these friends invited Jesus, his mother, and his followers to attend a wedding in their home. They invited many other people also and prepared a feast for them. Perhaps these people were poor, for they had not prepared enough wine for all the people who came to the wedding. And before the close of the feast, the wine was all gone. Mary, the mother of Jesus, saw that the wine had all been used, and she called Jesus aside to tell him about it. She knew of his wonderful power, and she believed he could surely help in a time like this. Then she told the servants who waited at the tables to do whatever Jesus might command them to do, for she expected him to supply the need in some wonderful manner. In every Jewish home there were large vessels, called water pots, which the people kept filled with water to use in washing their hands and their feet. The Jews were very careful to keep themselves clean from dust and dirt, and because they walked about everywhere with only sandals on their feet, they needed often to wash. In this home where the wedding feast was being held, six large water pots of stone were kept for this purpose. Jesus called the servants and told them to fill the water pots with water. And remembering his mother's instructions to them, the servants drew water and filled the vessels to the brim. Then Jesus told them to draw out from the vessels and fill their wine pitchers again. When they obeyed, they saw that wine flowed from the vessels they had just filled with water. At these Jewish feasts, one man was chosen to be the governor or the ruler of the feast. He tasted the food and the wine before it was placed on the tables to serve all the people. Jesus told the servants to take this wine to the governor and have him taste it, just as he had tasted the first wine that had been served to the guest. Now the governor did not know what Jesus had done. He did not know that the other wine had all been used and there was no more to be had. 
When he tasted the wine which Jesus had made from water, he was surprised because it was so much better than the first wine which had been served. Calling the young man who had just been married, the governor said, At other wedding feasts, the best wine is served first, but you have kept the best until the last of the feast. This was the first miracle Jesus performed, and it showed his willingness to help people who are in need. When the men who followed him saw what he had done, they believed on him, for they knew that no man could change water into wine, as he did. Mary, the mother of Jesus, had a big problem at the wedding feast, because they ran out of wine. She knew Jesus was God and could help her in this situation, and he did. Every day we are faced with difficulties that come our way. We can learn to trust Jesus to help us and get us through them. We are not strong enough to face life without the help of our Savior. He is willing to be there in our time of need, if we will only ask. Since our God is so powerful, is everywhere all the time, and has all wisdom, we should not worry or fret, but trust everything to Him. Miss Jane, our Bible verse today tells us the same thing as the song, Casting all your care upon Him, for he careth for you. 1 Peter 5, 7 Now, let's hear the song. about a problem we need to trust him to help us and not worry right that's true elsie sometimes we do worry so we really are doubting him not believing he hears us and can help us so could you pray for us at this time elsie yes miss jane dear jesus i am so weak but you are so strong so help me to believe that you can do all that you say you can do. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, listen again next time for Bible and Praise Time. With me, Miss Jane. And with me, Elsie. Goodbye. <laughs>